Good morning. Everybody knows I'm Father Furrier, and also here with me is my senior Kennedy and uh, Father uh, uh, Buffum. Uh, we are preparing for Pentecost and how important the Holy Spirit is for each of us as the Holy Spirit directs our lives. But we have concerns now. And one of those concerns is what I'm going to speak about uh, this morning. And my concern, I think, is also your concern. And it all revolves around the word survival. We are all trying to survive what's happening in our world. Survive as an individual and to survive as members of a family. Now, that's uh, that's the first part of my meditation. The second part of my meditation is what do you think the Lord God is telling us at this uh, particular very difficult time of our lives for all of us? What the Lord God is doing is giving us words of encouragement. Now, what are some of these words of encouragement? All you have to do is go to the Psalms. There are six Psalms of encouragement. And here are the six Psalms. First Psalm 13 that we may sing of the Lord how good our God has been to us. And then we could go to Psalm 23. Even when we walk through a dark valley, we fear no harm, for the Lord is at each of our sides. And then we could go to Psalm 66. We went through fire and water. Then the Lord led us out to freedom. And then we could go to Psalm 91. God will rescue us from the fowler's snare, from the destroyed plague. And take notice those last few words. Remember Psalm 91. The Lord will rescue us from the destroying plague. And then Psalm 112. They shall not fear an ill report. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. And lastly, Psalm 139. Your hand, O Lord, will guide us. Your right hand will holds us fast. So what are these magnificent words of encouragement that the Lord is giving us? Be strong. Keep the faith. Have a nice day.